Hey guys, still here and welcome back to War on the Sea. Episode 26, quick recap. We're hunting down Musashi and some other task force over here on the Coral Sea. In order to do that, I have task forces 17, 19 and 20. Three submarine task forces looking for the targets. Unfortunately, it's nighttime, which means that the Enterprise in task force 16 cannot assist. Let's rename this so it's going to be easier because I have, I think, quite a few task force 16s moving around. Yeah, here's a 16, here's another 16. This is the San Juan and the Oakland. Uh, these guys are the Didi Hunters. Because my plan is to use the Enterprise to hunt down the bigger ships. And then let the San Juan and the Oakland deal with the destroyers. Sneaky boys are moving into position. I have the Hornets going to link up with the Warden and the Dale. And over in the north we have the Washington which is heading to Rabal to pay the Japanese a slight visit. Now I think that there is still a task force somewhere near Port Moresby. So I'm going to vector task force 17 over there. But I wouldn't be surprised if we're not going to arrive there in time. So let's spin this thing up. Um, you know what? This task force over here, yet another task force 16, is not doing much of anything. So I'm going to send them back and pick up supplies. Because I noticed that there are a lot of supplies over here. And there are really not that many ways to use them over here. So I can just uh, already transport them to Norvettel Island and then from there maybe to Guadalcanal, Florida Islands or wherever else I feel like I need them. TF-17 has an encounter. Oh, that's the Hornet. That's not good. Is this a ghost encounter or... Maybe. I'm gonna do a hard star return. Now I have a Conti class cruiser with me, the Australia, and I also have the San Diego. Atlanta class. So I'm hoping that this is not something bigger than a submarine because I can handle a sub. But what I cannot handle is a full blown surface group. Not with the Hornet unable to launch her aircraft. Now, as of right now, I'm not seeing a torpedo launch, so that is promising. But if it's not a submarine, then what? I want the whole formation to activate radar. If it was a submarine, you would have probably already seen it by now. I mean, you'd have already seen the launch of the torpedoes. I can go to times five. Time compression? I don't think there's anything out here. No, let's just leave. Okay, so that's good. But I would still feel safer if the Dale and the Warden actually arrived on station. Because those guys are far better at hunting down submarines. Now the O'Bannon is on course to rejoin the Enterprise. I had her detached to go after a submarine. Successfully, I might add. The submarine's dead. And, uh, well, it's just waiting till daytime. Because that is when my navy is far more useful. Especially the aircraft carriers. Alright, gentlemen. You can rejoin your formation. There we go. Now... Leading the ship or leading information with the Hornets probably not the best idea. So I'm going to swap these guys first. And then I'm going to swap San Diego and Enterprise. Or, or sorry, Hornet. So we got uh, San Diego, Hornet. And then uh, I want Australia behind her. And then Warden on uh, four and Dale on three. So DD's on the side. There we go. We're still about, what is it, one hour, two hours away from launching aircraft? I always forget if it's six or seven. Oh, sorry, five or six. Yeah, five. Okay, so we have about an hour. These guys are still hunting. You're slightly too far away, and the DD hunters are nowhere near their destination. Carry on. How's the battle going on Guadal? Mm, meh. It's probably going to take a lot more time. Hold on, there's another encounter? Oh, this is 17. That's the submarines. Okay, let's begin. What's the... Oh, sea state is 6. Oh, no. The weather is dreadful. As we have seen, that can lead to problems with detecting enemy submarines... Or, uh, sur uh, sorry, enemy surface contacts. Uh, we have something out here. Jesus, they're close too. 2,400 yards? 
Oh no. This is the heavy cruiser group that I was looking for. Well, I guess we found them. That's the good news. Uh, the bad news, I probably don't have enough torpedoes to sink everything. Alright, I'm going to set these guys up as single units. Uh, Bluefish is unable to launch any more torpedoes, I think. Yeah, she still has two in her stern, but that is all that she has. So you're going to head that way. Uh, set a target for target one. Blackfish. Target two. Gato. Stop your target track. Target five. Although target four... Oh, target... No. I need to be targeting uh, target three. Alright, let's get an identification. Or rather, as you have probably come to expect at this point, a misidentification. I am still expert at not properly recognizing destroyers, but as long as I can get a decent enough solution on them, it doesn't really matter, guys. The, uh, the massive history buffs would probably disagree with me. Hatsuharu turret? No, not a Hatsuharu. Asashio? Turret, turret, mast lines up, launcher, launcher elevated. Assume target one's Asashio. Target four? It's one of those light cruiser types. Not the Tenryus, because they're gone. The Kumas? Oh, it could be a Kuma. But... No, it's not a Kuma class, because this thing doesn't line up. It's probably a Sendai, because it has her scout launcher over two turrets. So assume target four is a Sendai. Uh, is that another DD of the same type? Any more Sendais or light cruisers around? No. Okay, target seven. DD. Another Asashio. Check. Mast. Check, check. Assume Asashio. Target 2. Takao class. Heavy cruiser. Now, I believe I already hit them once. So it's entirely possible that some of these ships are damaged. Or not. All these ships are fine. Never mind. Uh, assuming target 2 is a Takao. That's a Gato. Congratulations. Count. Target three. Six turrets. Oh, sorry, six barrels. Not Mogami then. Furutaka. Most likely Alba class. Is that possible? Yeah, it could be the Kinugasa. Target five. Another Asashio. For all I know, it's a Yugamo. You know what? I don't even care that much because it's not my main target here. I need you guys to increase speed a little. Uh, Bluefish is already on her way out. What's your solution like? 28. Oof. That's not great. You're locked onto Takao, right? Sort of. Well, let's go with radar. Build our solution out a little more. With this sea state, even the submarine's bobbing and weaving. The range is 2200. The range is actually pretty good for me to engage. I have six torpedoes in the bow. Mm. With the amount of duds, dud bingo, I think it's safer to send out all six rather than wait until we see if it actually hits. Uh, what I could do, however, is launch four from the stern. That apparently does work. You can launch from the stern. And um, then, once the torpedoes pass the bow, you fire the rest. Now, I haven't tested this theory yet, or this, this tactic, so let's just do it. One, 
two, three, four. Reload stern. So those things are now heading the wrong way. But give them a moment and they're going to turn around. The thing is that once the submarine... Or, there we go. Uh, once the cruiser or any others get wind of these subs, they're probably not going to be happy to see them. That's kind of the problem. They're probably not going to be the biggest fan. Alright, now we're going to launch all six at the bow. We're going to have to because that cruiser is still uh, plowing along at about 17 knots. Let's go for three degrees separation. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, bye. Set a course, out of here. Bluefish. I'm going to have you engage... Uh, well... Your solution is terrible. But we only have two torpedoes, so might as well. Okay, bye. And Gato is actually in a pretty terrible position because she's behind the group. So that means that my torpedoes are going to have to catch up to them. Her solution is only 48%. I'm not going to launch. We're just going to hold. And I'm going to keep the Gato near the surface because they don't know about the Gato yet. And that way I'm hoping to keep an eye on the group. Alright, let's see if we can uh, sink at least the cruiser. Doesn't look good, because I'm seeing the torpedoes come in through here. Oh, this guy might get hit. But probably... Well, no, not really. That was the four torpedoes from the stern. And there's the six from the bow, but they might hit the, the Alba. If I get lucky. Doink. Hit. Yeah, she should be dead. Thrown them into disarray now. I was sinking. Very good. That's one of the cruisers dead. That was part of my objective. Get rid of the cruisers. Of course, the main target is target... Uh, not target 5. It's target 2, the Takao. I still have the Gato ready. I want you to target the Takao. Or I could try and intercept any of the DDs, but I don't think that that's a safe plan. Now, there is something else that I could try and do. It's a bit scummy, but I could retreat. And um, considering that we're very, very close to being at 5 a.m., I could launch my aircraft at them. You know what? I think that's the safest way to go. So, one hour class was sunk. 12 points gained, no submarines were lost. However, the bluefish is fresh out of torpedoes. The blackfish only has four of them left, and the gato is really the only one who could actually engage. So I'm going to disengage you. Uh, sorry, not merge, uh, split. Yeah, TF-16. You're going to have to head all the way back home. It's going to take you about, a, well, half a week to get there. But I'm just going to have to take it. Hold on. The time is now 4.48? It was just 4.58. Okay. Ow! Well, I guess we know who did that. The bad news is I cannot launch my aircraft anymore. Because I would need... <laughs> well, I could launch my aircraft. But I only have wildcats at this point. So it's going to be a scouting force and nothing else. So we're definitely going to need the Enterprise there. Can you merge yet? There we go. Alright, Enterprise. Uh, we have a target somewhere out there in the distance. And let's ensure that we spot them before you uh, get spotted. I want an Avenger flight with armor-piercing bombs. Because I'm expecting to find the Musashi first. 
I'm not looking forward to engaging her with the Enterprise itself. But her aircraft, definitely. Hornet, time for you to also launch your aircraft. Considering I'm not exactly sure what I'm up against, we're going to send up the Dauntlesses. And just do a scouting run here. Just zigzag over there, and now that all of these things have been leveled, it's not like we're going to see any fighter aircraft from here. But at some point we did see an aircraft group come from over there. So there is the possibility that the enemy has an aircraft carrier group somewhere nearby. Enemy aircraft spotted near TF-16. See? It's just not exactly what I was expecting. Because what I was expecting was not a scout aircraft. But the fact that it is a scout aircraft is interesting. Oh, I can't launch. Okay. Um, for how long? 0.4 hours. With the AA that we have, we should be able to shoot it down. Where are you? There you are. Yeah, fly right over the uh, Hornet's task force, why don't you? That seems like a safe airspace, doesn't it? Jesus. I don't get it. The AI just flies right over them. <laughs> That's uh, an interesting way to scout. I'll give you that much. It's going to be a very brief flight for them, I'm afraid. I could have taken this with a different approach, however. What I could have done is not engage the aircraft, send up the Wildcats, not engage with the Wildcats, and then see if I could trace this guy back to its source. Whether it's um, a surface unit or a submarine, it doesn't really matter. I just need to figure out where it's coming from. Oh, now it's going to veer off. Yeah, better late than never, I suppose. Credit where credit is due, the guy has not been hit yet. <laughs> really? Come on. Is it really gonna be this way? This is nuts. <laughs> guy flew at me, got greeted with a hail of flak and smaller anti-air guns and just went, yeah, no, I'm good, thank you. <laughs> Flies right back away. <laughs> well, the good news is I might still be able to use my let's follow this guy home tactic then. And since the Horn is not capable of launching an aircraft, maybe, maybe the Australia is. Yeah, she does have a launcher on her. She might be able to do it. Come on, you're far enough away. I won't shoot you anymore. Now, it's now bugging off to the southeast, but it came in from the southwest, I think. Okay. Uh, Australia. Launch aircraft. Walrus. Okay. Scout it out. Look for the target. Enterprise is ready to launch again. Very good. We're going to send up another air wing. This time around, it's going to be a group of Dauntlesses. Set a course somewhere in that general direction. The Avengers are still looking for trouble. Yet, it's a big place, so it's probably going to take them a while to actually find it. Hornet's ready to launch again. Good. Let's send up a flight of Avengers, but this time with depth charges, because I think that we might be dealing with an enemy submarine here. One of those guys that launched another scout aircraft. Come on. We're both ready. Ah. What? How the hell did you come up again just here? Interesting. Ignore. Uh, this is my Avenger flight. Where the hell did you come from? 
Whoops. Follow that thing. Oh, TF-16 has an encounter. That's the... That's the Hornet? Okay. Commence course corrections. Turn to port. Ghost encounter or submarine? Which is it? Submarine. There. Alright, here is how this is going to go. You are going to charge directly at the target. Considering the angle and your course, I'd say it's somewhere over there. You're going to do that with sonar active and you're going to do that at flank speed. 37 knots. San Diego is going to be right with you. Uh, we're going to steady course. The Hornet is going to disengage the other way. At full speed. I want to have the Warden also join into this fight. Also flank speed. And Australia turn to port to evade. Maximum. And increase speed a little. Let's see if we can avoid any torpedoes on the Hornet. Oh, they just started turning. Oh, shit. Hornet. New plan. Change course. Oh, God. I'm thinking the Hornet might get hit over here. And so might the San Diego. Although San Diego might be able to blend or blade its way right through it here. Back to port. San Diego is a bit, just a bit, <laughs> sleekier than the Hornet. Uh oh, hard to port, hard to port, hard to port. We're gonna eat one. Ow. Okay, you're now approaching the position of the enemy submarine. Slow to eleven, uh, slow, slow to nine knots. Hornet, damage status. Come to a full stop. Flooding and fire in several compartments. Lovely. All right, I want you to also slow down. We're gonna kill this sucker. Hello. San Diego. That's yours. I want you to keep an eye on him. Target motion, six knots. Slow down. Damn it. That guy managed to sneak through all of my defenses. I had an air patrol. But it didn't work. I should have followed that guy back home. That scatter craft. Now I know that Warden is effectively going too fast to engage. But that's fine. Type B submarine. Very good. I'm just going to send the Warden directly over her position. We may leave the combat area. Yeah, I don't fucking think so. We're gonna take down this submarine. Uh, starting now. Keep throwing those things out. San Diego, don't! No! No, 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 no! No! Don't! Oh, just gave the... Were you again? The, the Dale. I gave the Dale a peck. And by doing so, I caused three instances of ramming on her. Or flooding. Oh, great. I'm gonna have to send this whole task force back to dock. Are you okay? You're not great, that's for sure. How are you doing? You're not great either, but... At this point, I'm kind of doing more damage to myself than you are. Ah... <sighs> When it rains, it pours. Then again, I've already done a fair amount of damage to the Japanese. Slow down until you contain your... Okay, your flooding's fine. I want you to stop. Can we control the Warden? Hard to port. If I throw depth charges out now, it's probably not going to do much. No, I need to be a bit closer. I 
really messed this encounter up. It's one of those categories of Murphy's Law. Everything that could have gone wrong, went wrong. Now, fortunately, the enemy submarine does seem to be surfacing. Go on. Make your way to the surface. Unless you're gonna flood, but I don't think so. No, he's right there. The hell? Why are my guns turning? Normally it can just fire onto a position. Hello, you. Cease manual fire. Fire. Because I have seen those things surface and immediately start doing damage to my ships. There we go. It already damaged one of the 5 inch guns. And it, it just knocked out a 5 inch gun. Two shots, knocked out a 5 inch gun. There we go. Alright, it looks like the flooding on my ships is contained. But the damage has been done. How bad. Minor damage to the Hornet. Minor damage to the Dale. So I think we can fix... Oh, and to the Warden. I think we can fix it. But it's... It was entirely avoidable. Murphy's Law. Now, let's see if we can still find that enemy task force that's operating here in the Coral Sea. At least one of them. I really want to see if we can get them. Enterprise is ready to launch again. Great. Let's have the Hornet move around a little. To ensure that she's not going to be at exactly the same location. I don't want to make it too easy on them. Hornet's ready to launch. Excellent. Uh, send out a flight of... I don't know. Dauntless. I don't really expect an enemy surface group over here, because I already have the Washington and the task forces from the submarines patrolling in the north. So we kind of have this this gate this well this, this this gate over here. Um, I'm hoping that nothing comes through, but it looks like one submarine did, and unfortunately it's the Dauntlesses which are actually catching it. Half an hour. Okay, you need to turn the other way. Now. These Dauntlesses are only carrying 1,000 kilogram bombs. Not depth charges. So what I'm going to do is ignore it. Wait for the Hornet to be able to launch her depth charge bombers, the Avengers. And then go on the offensive. Still half an hour. Point four. Hold on. New plan. Warden and Dale split. Engage that submarine. It's 10 miles out. Keep an eye on it. Can we launch yet? 0.2 hours. Alright, let's force an encounter here. Tactical. Both the Dauntlesses are in the area, and my destroyers. And there is no trace of the enemy submarine. What the fuck? Well. Maybe I was wrong about that. I'm sorry, guys, I'm really messing up on this episode. There was a submarine, and she was 1,200 yards out. But because I could do times 5 acceleration, I thought, you know what? It's... What? Oh, never mind. I thought there was going to be two. Because I could do times 5 acceleration, I thought that there wasn't anything in the area. Well, about that. That is probably going to cost me the... Yeah, that's definitely going to cost me the deal. That bit of... Oh, we're going to be fine. 
Just cost me one of my destroyers. Crap. Shouldn't be getting too hasty. That's another secondary explosion. The Dale is dead. But we can avenge her. Let's go and get that Type B1. Again, I apologize for my sloppiness here. This was entirely avoidable. Much like the previous encounter. Range, 850 yards. I know I still have my aircraft around, but considering the ship is below the surface... Well, it is at 33 feet, but... I'm still not really expecting to be able to hit her. What I'm surprised about, though, is that we can see it. Because I'm doing 17 knots. The only way that I could think that we could see it is because... Well, right now we're almost on top of her with sonar. There she is. But maybe the aircraft could just spot her visually from the air? It's literally the only thing that I can imagine. Yeah, you're trying to flee, aren't you? Well, we have something to say about that. Don't worry, I know where it is. Just need to intercept it and overtake it. She's slightly changing... No, she's not changing course. She's on a steady heading of 228. <laughs> Kill it. Depth charge is raining down all around this submarine now. I'm eager to see how many submarines the Japanese actually have. Let's have a look. Type B1. Well, plenty. And have the other class? The Type B2? I've sunk four of that class with the I-40 and the I-42 still alive. Okay. Congratulations, Warden. You hit nothing. Whoops. She's still below you. How many do I have left? 30. Oh. We can go a bit more aggressive than that then. Because we have to take vengeance. Because of that sloppiness of me of the Dale. I didn't get any hits again. Overtake. Come on. There are no submarines in the area, he said. Yeah, right. Come on, that should be coming down almost on top of the sub. Have we hit him at all? We have not. Great. I'm still too close to him, I think. How many do I have left? 18. I have to be getting a bit more careful with them now. Now, fortunately, with the sinking of that cruiser, I'm able to get at least another two destroyers to replace the loss of this one. Twelve left. That looks better. Yeah, that hit him. And that hit him again. I think the propulsion just went out. They might be sinking. For good measure, hit him again. 
I want a dead. They're not as valuable as sinking a surface ship, but if this can keep the Hornet safe, I'm all for it. Critical flooding. You're pretty much done for. The only thing they can still do is an emergency blow. There we go. That's the emergency blow. But I think that they're too flooded to actually make it to the surface. Unfortunately, I can't see it anymore because it's outside of my uh, sonar cone. There she is. Oh, she's surfacing. Really? So you did survive. Okay. We'll just have to use the guns to finish you off then. Depth 220 feet. 200 feet. They're very, very slowly coming up. That emergency blow made the ship a lot lighter, but considering the flooding that she's having, maybe not enough. There you go. So, I gained two command points, but I lost the destroyer, and there was still minor damage to the warden from her collision with the cruiser. So this is definitely one of my biggest mistakes. But, yeah, no, not really any excuses, just to fuck up. Right, well, with that mistake, I'm going to leave you at the end of this episode. Um, next episode, I very much intend to do better. I still want to have a look and see if we can find the Musashi again, somewhere in the Coral Sea. And I still have a bit of a beef over here with the group that keep bombarding Ports Moresby. So, more to come very soon. Thank you for watching now, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you soon for the next episode.